What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to link Revit model. Okay, so last video, last few videos, so we have learned how to link an architectural model in AutoCAD uh, format. And then we learn how to create levels and grids from that. So this time around, so let's learn how to link Revit architectural model. And then after that, we are going to create uh, levels and grids by using copy monitor on our uh, link model. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm going to create a new project again. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, Imperial template. So I'll be using structural analysis default. And then I'll select open. Okay. Okay, and then after that, so I'm going to link now my model. So let's go to the insert tab from the link panel. You can see here link Revit. So let's click that one. And then let's link our model here. So again, for this um, exercise, I will just use auto center to center and then select open. There you go. And then just like what we did uh, last time, I'm going to move the elevation symbol just to tidy up our model. So let's move that. Let's move. Okay. So I think this one is enough. Right. Now, the next thing that we are going to do after we link our model, let's pin that so that we don't accidentally move our link model. So let's pin this. And then after that, select uh, pin here and then just click outside. Now, let's modify or let's create now our grids using this amazing tool that is called copy monitor. So go to the collaborate tab. And then from the coordinate panel, so there is this tool that is called copy monitor. So what happens is, according to the definition, it uh, it monitors and coordinates changes to elements that affect teams from different disciplines. So you use the copy monitor tool to monitor elements between the host, which is our project, and then the link model or within one project. So when one team moves or changes a monitored elements, other teams are notified so that they can adapt their designs or work with team members to resolve issue. So that's how it works. So that we are going to be notified if ever the link model has been updated so that we can adjust to it. Okay, so let's use the copy monitor, select link, because we're going to select our link model. So let's select link. Okay, and then from the copy monitor tab, so you now have these tools here. So you have options, copy, monitor, finish, and cancel. The first one here is option. So if you click the option, you will gonna have here uh, four, uh, five tabs. So you have levels, grids, columns, walls, floors. So these are the elements that you can copy and monitor. Okay, and then you will also notice in every tab here, you will notice that you have two column. So you have original type, which is what our link model has. And then you also have here the new type, which is the available family that is loaded in our current project. So meaning to say, if I'm going to copy and monitor this uh, level, so the new type will gonna be one fourth inch head because this is the available that we have in our project but you can click that and then you can change that to a different uh, different type or you can also have this don't copy this type option if you want that but in my case i want a one fourth inch head as well okay same with the other tabs here so let's say for example for the one fourth inch bubble of our link model so once we copy and monitor this it will going to be create this same type 
because this is also available in our project but again you can set that up if you want to change that to bubble gap bubble custom gap or don't copy this type okay so basically you use this copy and monitor options dialog box to set up your copy monitor before you copy or monitor the elements okay and then you can also check out the additional copy parameters here okay so you can explore this during your uh, time if you have free time but for the meantime i'll just use the default settings here and then i'll select here okay now so let's use the copy here so i'm going to select copy and then since i'll be copying multiple uh, grids from the options bar i'm going to make sure that the multiple here is check and then i'm going to use crossing selection from left to right like that and then let's use filter because we only want to select the grids so filter all right so let's select the grids only and then select ok so after that you can now select finish this finish not this one but this one here so finish okay so once you do that you will now have this warning here it's just telling you that the grids have have been renamed but don't worry just close that one and then also another thing that you will notice is this icon here so this icon so this ice icon meaning this uh grids are being monitored so if you click outside you can see if you click this grid here for example so you can see that icon so meaning to say this grid is being monitored so let's say for example the link model they monit they change the grid number six they for example they change the uh, the type so once you load the architectural model to your project you will be notified by uh, revit that there is a change on that particular level because it's being monitored so same with other grids here because they are being monitored okay so that's it so it's very fast right so you just created your uh grids using the link models grid all right so again if you have time you can just put there the the bubble head i already teach you how to do that now the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to finish this because we want to copy and monitor the levels as well so select finish there you go okay so the next thing that we are going to do let's go to the elevation view because that is where we can see the levels of our project so south elevation or east north or west so it's up to you so i'll just select your south and then um as you can see by default in our template the template that we use it contains two levels here right so we don't need these two levels here because i'm just going to copy monitor the levels of my architectural model that's why i'm going to click level two hold control and then click level one okay and then just delete we don't need that levels so delete and then here on the warning it's just telling us that these views that was created in the template will going to be deleted as well that's all right we don't need that we are going to set it up later so select here okay and there you go so we don't have any plan here anymore but don't worry about that okay now so let's copy monitor our levels here okay so let's do it so let's go to the collaborate copy monitor select link let's select the link model that's the one click all right so from the copy monitor tab so let's use the copy here make sure multiple is check and then let's use crossing selection so let's select only the levels so just to make sure you can select here uh the the filter the filter so it tells you that you have selected five levels which is okay so select okay and then after that finish just close that warning 
okay and then just click outside all right so let us just do some tidy up here so i'm going to select the parapet level here and let me just move it away so we can see our architectural model as well so as you can see we we now have our uh, levels here and then this is your architectural levels so it's too close right so I'm going to click the parapet here and then I'm going to create an elbow so you click that add elbow icon and then you can just drag that up let's tidy up let's tidy up just like that okay and then after that let's finish so finish there you go okay by the way if you want to control the visibility of your uh, link model so let's say in your south elevation so you want to hide the levels you don't want to see that because you already have your own level so if you want to control the visibility of your link model you can go again to your visibility graphic overrides or you can type uh, VV you can type VV for the shortcut and then you go to the Revit links tab so from the Revit links tab you can select here by host view and then make sure you customize it and then you go to annotation categories make sure you custom this and then you look for grids or oh, level sorry levels and then okay and then okay and there you go so it's now hidden All right okay so now you will notice that our levels here the bubble is colored black right so it's black the reason is that there is no associated floor plan for these levels here that's the reason why the color here is black by default okay so for our template by default if your bubble head here is black so meaning it doesn't have the associated floor plan on the project browser that's the next uh, step that we are going to do so we want to create the views for level 1 level 2 level 3 and then the roof okay so we want the floor plan for that so how to create the floor plan or the the view for your levels here so to do that since it has something to do with view so what you can do is you can go to the view tab and then after that from the create panel you can select here plan views and then you can now create the floor plan if you want to create an RCP you can select there the reflected ceiling plan okay but for this one I'm going to select floor plan so floor plan and then these are now the levels that is available for us so I'm going to um, click control click that I don't want to create floor plan for the parapet so that's why I'm going to select here okay don't select the parapet select okay and then look what will happen on the project browser okay and there you go so if you're going to expand the floor plans here so you now have the associated floor plan levels from the from the are uh, using the level that we just created okay again for your exercise try to tidy up your your grids here but basically that's how you do it again going back to my uh, elevation if you click your level here you can see the icon that it is being monitored that's the one okay your level and then your grids are being monitored so any changes that they do in the link model so once you reload that in your project you will gonna be notified so let's say for example they gave you a new Revit model so you can check it from the project browser look for the rabbit links so here's your link model so you can right click that and then you can just reload if you don't change the location 
of your link model or you can select reload from if you want to locate the location of your new uh, Revit link model okay and then if if there's a changes you will be notified so let's say they change the levels or grids you will be notified because the levels and grids are being monitored okay so it's being monitored there okay so basically that's how you link your architectural model and use copy monitor to create your levels and grids and that's how you create the associated floor plan okay so hopefully you learned something thank you for watching have a nice day